guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number three of the interactive Road to Division 1 series. The series where you guys choose the teams that we play with. Now you guys went absolutely manic with the uh, with the comments in the previous video. Over 70 comments in total. And I shifted my way through all of them trying to pick up the ones that were most popular or ones that I might like to play with myself. And the first of which was Roma. This came in from FunkyTown49 and Ahmed Madafra. Uh, sorry if I've butchered your name though. I know I did butcher someone else's in the previous episode. But uh, we actually get off to a horrible start here against Galatasaray. And uh, it's actually the opponent that goes 1-0 up. Their nice run from Yilmaz, actually. Taking it around a couple of plays. I committed to challenge challenges I shouldn't have committed to. Dived in when I should have stayed on my feet. Shown a bit more composure as a defender. Where he showed composure as a striker. And he made me pay. He punished me for it. And was able to put him 1-0 up. But we flew out in for the rest of the half. It was almost a non-stop barrage on his goal for the rest of the first half. Adam Yeic having the third chance that we've had so far in the first half. And how the goalkeeper was able to make a save from that one, I don't know. Maslera was pulling everything out of the bag here. And even when he didn't get there, the woodwork was there to save him. But fortunately, we were able to get to the rebound and get ourselves back in the game at 1-1. We weren't done there for the first half. We're going to have another chance. This time it's Daniele De Rossi. And again, Muslera comes up with a fantastic save down to his right-hand side. So we went in at half-time at 1-1. And I was a little bit aghast at how I'd actually managed to go in just level, considering the amount of chances we'd had. As you can see, seven shots, all of which were on target. Our accuracy was superb in this game, and it was only the acrobatics of Fernando Muslera that was the difference between us being in front and only being level. And we were going to have another chance early into the second half. This time it's going to be Francesco Totti trying to do the work, gets tackled, but Balzaretti finds De Rossi, and unfortunately doesn't get that much of a run-up on it. And he can't get enough power on it to, uh, to cause the goalkeeper any sort of proper problems. But Schneider, they catch me in the counter-attack, and... That's a poor finish and a poor goalkeeping from uh, from the goalkeeper. I think it's De Sanctis in, uh, in goal for Roma. He was really, really poor. And from that moment on, I went to ultra-attacking, trying to just force the result. And ultimately, that was going to be my downfall. He scores one there with uh, Didier Drogba, another on the counter-attack, and catches me again on the counter-attack. And Didier Drogba makes me pay for a second time in the space of two or three minutes. So we find ourselves 4-1 down with 10 minutes to go after completely dominating the entire game. And uh, De Rossi is going to draw another fantastic save out of Fernando Muslera, so we can't even end on a high with picking up a second goal of the game for ourselves. So unfortunately, for uh, for the guys that suggested Roma and for the series, we pick up a defeat there at home. And uh, I just don't know how. 10 shots, 9 on target, all of which were fantastic efforts. And uh, we just couldn't come out with a victory. And ironically enough, the most requested team from the previous video was in fact Galatasaray so after being uh, beaten by them handsomely I went into the next game as the the, uh, the Turkish side the uh, the suggestion came from Pratik Pats Smacksoft SMA and Fergus Campbell there were three separate suggestions for Galatasaray at the time I went to the comments to uh, to select the teams and we actually came up away from home this time playing against Porto a very very good side from the Portuguese league of course everyone's familiar with uh, with the threat of Porto with the threat of uh, Jackson Martinez at top and the pace they have out wide and of course the stalwart in goal Helton the uh, the Brazilian goalkeeper and he was going to be a pain in my back Backside again, yet again, a goalkeeper was going to come up, chance for us in this one. Schneider whips the corner in, Diego, Diego, Didier Drogba goes up for the header, and we beat the goalkeeper, but there's a man on the line, and every time I seem to beat a goalkeeper so far, there's either a man on the line or it hits the woodwork. We just can't get goals. We were fortunate enough to get a rebound in the previous game, but here... Helton was just doing exactly what Fernando Muslera had done all game long. We beat the goalkeeper, there's the woodwork, and that is the worst miss of all time. I pressed LB to change player, and I, I know a lot of you will have done the same. Press the change player button to get to the ball first, and it does the chip shot, and we miss an open net from five yards out. Absolute face palm, and then Felipe Melo's going to have a strike here. Takes a deflection and goes out for a corner. It's just whiskers wide of that far post, and Inan is going to be the player to whip the corner in. Drogba goes up again, can't get there. Kaya, the centre back, has a shot. It drops free. Didier Drogba, can he get there? No, Helton is on hand again to smother the ball and keep us out. But we're still not done for the first half. Jeffrey Brumer breaking into the box. I think it's Jeffrey Brumer. In fact, Jeffrey Brumer may have been the uh, the centre back from Chelsea. They got that mixed up. But Felipe Melo proves that he can't shoot 
at all and puts the ball wide. So at half time we go in level again, no goals in the game and yet again you'll be able to see from the stats we have been completely dominant. Eight shots, five on target. He's had just two shots, none of which have given my keeper any sort of problems whatsoever. So of course because I'm now officially stated as the most unlucky FIFA player of all time, I have the worst pack luck, as you saw from pack playoffs, and we just have no luck whatsoever when it comes to head-to-head. -head. I just batter opponents game after game after game. The end of the last episode was even worse. That IX game, the guy had three shots, scored three goals. I had 17, scored one, 11 of which were on target. And weirdly, in this one, after dominating, he went 1-0 up, and then I don't know whether it was because he was celebrating too hard, pulled an Ethernet cable out of his console or something. He actually got disconnected from the game in you know kind of mid celebration so uh, fortunately that doesn't count although I was confident of being able to come back and win that game but uh, we're actually going to head into the third one now we didn't go back and try again as Galatasaray maybe we'll come back later in the series and revisit the Turkish side but we're going to go into this one as Dundee United as suggested by B52 The Fortress my good friend from Scotland and uh, he's recently moved to Dundee so this is now his hometown team so we're hoping to do him proud in this one we actually come up against Swindon and I think this guy was a Swindon fan because he was very very good with him we get so fortunate here the luck was turning as the ball comes back off the post hits the goalkeeper and doesn't go across the line fortunately but after after all of the chances in the previous two games with no goals to show for it apart from that one deflection that we got back off the bar. This one was actually a game with barely any chances in it whatsoever. It was always going to be a 1-0 game. You'll see at half time it's 0-0. That awful effort from Gold by the way just before the uh, the final whistle went was horrific. But as you can see not many chances whatsoever. He'd had more of the ball like I say. He was very very good with Swindon. Clearly played with them a lot. Played with them a lot. Knew how to play with them. What their strengths were. What their weaknesses were. And that's kind of half the challenge with this series the fact that I'm, most of the teams that I'm going to play with I'm going in blind I don't know the best players I don't know their best attributes I don't know the best traits who does what in what position so that kind of adds the extra challenge to the series but you know it's also a bigger test of me as a FIFA player so uh, I am really really looking forward to the challenge of this series and we're going okay so far we've been winning more than we've been losing or drawing and we're actually going to whip the ball in here it's a really nice textbook trade ground training ground move the uh, the whip free kick in the knockdown from the defender to the striker on the edge of the box and unfortunately the goalkeeper is going to come up with a save but we're going to have another chance here ball's played into goal defender gets the the touch on it but then he's clumsy with his follow up challenge Gold wins the ball off him you'll be able to see from the uh, from the replay it was in fact a penalty he took his feet away from him as uh, as he tried to race away from the defenders to get the uh, the shot away you see he goes in there it's a lazy challenge just kind of stretches with his weak foot and he's unfortunate to uh, to take the player down. But David Goodwill, or David, I always call him David Goodwill. It's not it's David Goodwill. He's uh, he's Scottish. He's not Spanish or anything. David Goodwill puts the penalty away in this 74th minute to give us a 1-0 lead. And that was probably going to be enough. As we'll be able to see a little bit later on, just a few minutes after, in fact, we're actually going to have another couple of chances. Ryan Gold break. I think it's Ryan Gold break it down into the box. Plays the ball back to uh, the guy on the edge of the box. Unfortunately, it's the right back, and he doesn't have the instinct to take it first time. As he gets past the ball before turning back to pick it up, and then the shot isn't the best. But fortunately, it was enough. The penalty was enough to give us the win. The three points, and we do take a 1-0 win for that run. So uh, we still doing okay in the series. You can see overall record is five wins, four defeats. Although, of course, one of those was pre-Road uh, to Division 1. So uh, it's five wins, three defeats. But we're doing okay, even if we're not winning the games, we're putting in the performances, which is at least a positive sign. So feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section down below yet again, and I will do my best to try and get to your team. If I don't play with your team in a, in a specific in a specific episode, then feel free to keep coming back in the comment section and voting for them episode after episode, and I will get round to playing with your particular team. So uh, do feel free to check the link in the description to subscribe if you haven't done already. There will be a link as an annotation on screen over the right hand fist on your screen as well and if you missed the previous video which will have come out last Saturday then there will be a link to that over the left hand fist and of course like you can see in the middle if you don't follow me on Twitter feel free to do so at Chesnoy Gaming but that is going to wrap this one up guys please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that would be absolutely superb like I say leave some suggestions for, uh, for the next episode and I will see you tomorrow with some more career mode